Storms and Hurricanes from Us Born Beginners. Stormy Skies. During a storm, there are thick, dark clouds in the sky, very storm, strong winds, and often heavy rain or snow. Sometimes there is thunder and lightning, too. This is a big storm in Nebraska, USA. Different Weather. Storms and other kinds of weather happen all over the world. Weather is formed in the air that surrounds the Earth. You can see weather from space. This picture shows white, swirling clouds. The gaps between the clouds are clear skies. The type of weather depends on how hot, cold, dry, or damp the air is. Weather, where the air is hot and dry, the weather is sunny and there's no rain. Cold and damp air makes cloudy, foggy, rainy, or snowy weather. Many storms happen where the air becomes hot and damp. Other planets, such as Jupiter, have storms too. Cloudy skies. Some clouds form when the air is warm and damp. Damp air is filled with very tiny water droplets, so small you can't see them. First, the sun shines and heats up the air, making the water droplets rise. High above the ground, the droplets cool and join together to make clouds. Inside the cloud, the droplets bump together and join to form bigger droplets. Soon, the droplets of water are so big and heavy that they fall as rain. In some parts of the world, so much rain falls at once, the ground floods. This is Calcutta in India. It rains like this for around two months every year. In some parts of Hawaii, USA, it rains almost every day. Wild winds. All storms come with strong winds. Wind is moving air. It happens when hot air rises and cold air rushes in to take its place. Very strong storm winds are called gales. These waves are crashing onto the land during a gale. Land close to the sea is often flooded. Gales are so strong that it can be difficult for people to stand up. Tiles are blown from roofs, and trees and electricity pylons are knocked over. Huge waves form at sea, making it very dangerous for ships and their crews. Palm trees can bend in strong winds so they don't get blown over. Cold storms. Snowstorms happen when the air is very cold. Water droplets in clouds freeze into tiny ice crystals called snowflakes. More droplets freeze onto the flakes until they're too heavy to stay up. Lots of snowflakes fall, covering the ground in a thick layer of snow. This is a snowstorm in Washington, D.C., USA. Snow has filled the sky, making it difficult to see anything. A snowstorm with very strong winds is called a blizzard. Ice storms. Some small balls of ice, called hailstones, form when water droplets are blown around inside a storm cloud. First, droplets are blown around the cloud, where they freeze into hailstones. Second, the hailstones are blown around more. They get covered in a layer of water. The water freezes into a layer around the hailstones, and they get bigger. Eventually, the hailstones are so heavy, they fall to the ground. When lots of hailstones fall from the cloud storm cloud, it's called a hailstorm. This giant hailstone fell in Kansas, USA. It is shown here at around half its actual size. If you cut a hailstone open, you would see the different frozen layers. Electric skies. Thunder and lightning form inside massive storm clouds. Damp, warm air rises high into the sky. As it cools, it turns into a storm cloud. Inside the cloud, the wind swirls a mixture of hailstones and rain up and down. The hailstones and rain bump and rub against each other. This makes electricity. The electricity leaps down from the cloud as a very hot flash of lightning. Thunder is the sound of the air quickly heating up around the lightning flash. When lightning splits like this, it is called forked lightning. Light travels faster than sound, so you can always see lightning before you hear thunder. Whirling winds. Tornadoes are extremely fast, spinning winds that form inside storm clouds. 
In some places, they are called twisters. A tornado's violent winds can destroy houses and farmland. This is a tornado in the USA. The air inside a storm cloud slowly starts to spin around and around. The air spins faster and faster. The bottom of the cloud starts to grow. Air is sucked up from the ground. It turns into a whirling funnel of cloud. As the tornado moves along the ground, it causes severe damage. Tornadoes are called twisters because they can twist the tops from trees. Dry storms. Dust storms happen in very hot, windy places where there is no rain, such as deserts. The sun bakes the ground, making it very dry. The soil cracks into pieces. Loose pieces of soil are blown along the ground, making them break up even more. Soon, the loose soil becomes fine dust and strong winds blow it into huge clouds. Camels can close their noses so that they don't breathe in dust during a dust storm. This is a dust storm in Afghanistan. The dust has filled the sky, blocking out the sun. The biggest storm. Hurricanes are huge, violent storms with very strong winds and heavy rain. They form over warm seas and can blow onto land. The sun heats moist air over the sea. The moist air rises very quickly. Then it starts to spin. As it spins, the air creates big, swirling storm clouds. The storm gets bigger and bigger and grows into a hurricane. This is what a hurricane looks like from space. The middle of the storm is called the eye. In different countries, hurricanes are also known as cyclones, typhoons, and willy-willies. During the storm. Different parts of a hurricane produce different types of weather. These palm trees in Florida, USA are being whipped by winds from a hurricane. First, at the start of a hurricane, big swirls of dark clouds form in the sky. Extremely strong winds blow, and there is heavy rain, hail, thunder, and lightning. As the eye of the storm passes overhead, it is clear and sunny. When the eye has moved on, clouds fill the sky. The violent weather starts again. After the storm. When a hurricane strikes an area, it causes severe damage. This is New Orleans, USA, after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Strong winds destroyed thousands of houses. Hurricane winds create big waves that damage buildings on the shore. Heavy rain makes rivers overflow their banks, flooding large areas of land. Tracking storms. Scientists study storms to find out more about why they happen. This weather truck has stopped under a storm cloud in Oklahoma, USA. The truck has equipment to measure wind, rain, and temperature in the clouds. Weather satellites in space look for hurricanes forming at sea. Satellites send information about the hurricane to a control room. Computers find out where and when the hurricane might reach land. Flags are put up in danger areas. There are warnings on the radio and television. People leave their homes quickly so they can escape the hurricane. Strange storms. In some parts of the world, stormy weather can do unusual things. During an ice storm, heavy rain falls onto very cold surfaces and freezes. This photo was taken after an ice storm in Switzerland. A tornado's strong winds can pick up fi fish, frogs, and other small animals. The animals are carried along, then dropped as if they're raining from the sky. Glossary. Here are some of the words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Lightning, a hot flash of electricity that jumps down from a storm cloud. Thunder, the loud rumbling sound following a lightning flash. Hail, small balls of ice that form inside a storm cloud. Tornado, very fast spinning winds that look like a funnel of cloud. Dust storm, when dry soil is blown into big clouds blocking out the sun. Hurricane, a massive, violent storm with very strong winds and heavy rain. Weather satellite, a machine in space that detects hurricanes forming.
That was Storms and Hurricanes from Us Born Beginners by Emily Bone, illustrated by Paul Weston, designed by Alice Reese and Sam Chandler, additional illustrations by Kimberly Scott, Storm Consultant Dr. Roger Trend, Reading Consultant Allison Kelly. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more books, stories, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to hear more about, leave us a note in the comments.